Hi, do you like to make noise? Let's talk about the new Spectre Noise firmware for the Soundhack Spectrophone. You've heard some sounds in the most recent video. Now let's dig into how it works. Installing firmware on the Spectrophone is easy. You'll just place the file on the SD card and power on your system while holding the Mode B button. You can find detailed instructions in the manual or the readme file that you'll find in the firmware package. This firmware adds two new oscillator modes, noise and chaos. How do you access them? The same way you switched modes already. The SAM and SAO button on each side is now an all-purpose mode button. Press it to switch immediately from SAM to SAO to noise to chaos and back around to SAM. The mode LED stays off for SAM and lights for all other modes. This is because SAM remains unique among the modes in that it requires a signal at the input, while SAO, noise, and chaos are all closer to a traditional VCO. The array binary is now also used to show which mode you're in. The two pairs of LEDs in the binary refer to the two sides of the module. With SAO, it is off. With noise, it's red. With chaos, it's green. If you have trouble discerning red from green, don't worry. The red is always on the right, and the green is always on the left. But most importantly, you'll know which mode is which, by hearing them. Let's take a listen. In noise mode, the even and odd outputs contain a pair of sine waves. We use the input attenuator to detune them up to an octave from each other. Partials control sets the width of noise sidebands around the sine frequency. The slide and focus controls set the frequencies of a low pass and high pass filter, respectively, for this modulating noise, further shaping the side minutes. All frequency controls work the same in this mode as in all other modes. This includes the FM bus. chaos mode, the two sine oscillators per side are each paired with a second sine wave whose harmonic ratio to the core is set by the focus control. As with SAO and noise, you can use the input attenuator to detune the two sines by up to an octave. Partials adds audio rate modulation of one sign by the other.
slide adds multiple chaotic feedback paths to this modulation. As always with Spectrophone, you have two independent sides. Each can run in its own mode. Mix and match modes as you like. And of course you always have the sine and sub CV outputs, the FM bus, follow, and sync. Which all work the same across all modes. We can't wait to hear what you do with Spectre Noise. Post your links in the comments of the video. Thanks for w wait a minute, there's more. We know that in SAM mode, we can hold shift and press array to create a new array. Well now, in all the other modes, we can pull the same trick to switch the side into low frequency. The shift A light or shift B light will light to indicate low frequency. This gives us modulation sources with varying degrees of unpredictability. I've already been having a great time modulating one side of the spectrophone with the other. Stay tuned for lots of noise, chaos, and LFO patch ideas with this new Spectre Noise firmware. Thanks for watching, and happy patching.